So the media just wants to, you know, pretend that Joe Biden has no, there's no reason to investigate what Joe Biden did. I mean, Judicial Watch has dozens of lawsuits against the Trump administration about what the Trump administration is up to. And we're not going to let Joe Biden be immune from scrutiny. So we at least have, we have at least a half a dozen lawsuits now. No one else is doing anything like that. Our team uncovered how Hunter Biden traveled with the Secret Service protection while his father was vice president for several uh, uh, for hundreds of trips, including 29 trips abroad. Um, and a trip to Moscow, which is interesting, according to John Solomon, because there may be something there that's worth pursuing, and five trips to China. So we already uncovered that. But those documents that we had gotten from the Secret Service detailing those trips were only a partial response, because uh, essentially the last half of uh, the last two and a half years of the Obama administration weren't covered. So we wanted more details about the trips themselves and where else he went with Secret Service protection while his father was vice president. And of course, all this is of concern because of the Biden's family uh, penchant for seemingly turning the vice president's office into a vehicle for self uh, personal wealth uh, increasing. I'm putting it nicely. Basically, they turned it into a racket, both with Burisma and in China, with that sweetheart franchise that um, the Biden gang got uh, on one of the trips that we uncovered here. And so uh, we asked for the records. We're getting stonewalled for a relatively simple request. So we're in federal court suing because we think we have a right to know about what the vice president's son was doing and how much secret service and what the secret service are, taxpayer resources are being used to allow him to do. That doesn't mean he doesn't have a right to travel. I mean, you don't, you don't check your right to earn a living when your president, when your, if your family member rejoins the government. But when there's seeming conflicts of interest here that raise legal issues, you got to be on the alert that someone isn't trying to give you special favors and special treatment and money for doing nothing, kind of like what he got in Burisma, it looks like, in order to, to uh, curry favor with your family member, in this case, the president's, the vice president. DOJ doesn't seem to be investigating this. Congress isn't, Congress is doing a little investigating of it. Ron Johnson and senators try to investigate it. And for that, he's being smeared by Adam Schiff and company, calling him a Russian agent because he's asking about what the heck was going on with the Bidens in Ukraine. I mean, they're still doing it. The coup hasn't stopped. So uh, Judicial Watch uh, has a, a new federal lawsuit on Hunter Biden. And this is on top of our lawsuit in Delaware for Senator Biden's or Vice President, well, then Senator Biden's records that are housed in the University of Delaware using tax dollars. So we think we have a right to access them. We're working with the Daily Caller on that lawsuit. So the media just wants to, you know, pretend that Joe Biden has no, there's no reason to investigate what Joe Biden did. I mean, Judicial Watch has dozens of lawsuits against the Trump administration about what the Trump administration is up to. And we're not going to let Joe Biden be immune from scrutiny. So we at least have, we have at least a half a dozen lawsuits now. No one else is doing anything like that. So we expect more documents to start coming. And uh, once again, Judicial Watch is doing the heavy lifting on behalf of you, the American people. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all the latest news from Judicial Watch.